in the Netflix special His Dark Material, comic Jimmy Carr made an offensive joke about the massacre of gypsies which led to accusations he was celebrating the murder of one of the most marginalized groups in society. Addressing his potentially career-ending blunder poking fun at the victims of Nazi war crimes, Jimmy took to the stage last night and announced his belief that he would be cancelled. The 8 out of 10 Cats host had earlier joked on Netflix, when people talk about the Holocaust, they talk about the tragedy and horror of 6 million Jewish lives being lost to the Nazi war machine, but they never mentioned the thousands of gypsies that were killed by the Nazis. No one ever talks about that because no one wants to talk about the positives. Horrified viewers saw the boundary-breaking joke as off-limits because it targeted the tragic genocide of several million people, both the Jewish community and the Romani and Sinti members of the traveling community. The aftermath of the joke's release was a tense time that saw even his friends in the celebrity world turn against him, with David Padil describing him as indefensible. However, Jimmy showed up as planned for a performance at the Whitley Bay Playhouse near Newcastle, and let trip about cancel culture. One heckler in the audience keen for him to address the disastrous Netflix show called out, Are we going to talk about the Holocaust? Only for Jimmy to respond, We are going to talk about cancel culture, the whole thing. We are going to talk about effing everything people relax. He then chose to interpret the outrage at his offensive joke as symbolism for the end of freedom of speech. Also adding the backlash had received about LGBT jokes to the mix, he commented, we are speaking my friends in the last chance saloon. What I am saying on stage this evening is barely acceptable now. In 10 years, effing forget about it. You are going to be able to tell your grandchildren about seeing this show tonight. You will say I saw a man and he stood on a stage and he made light of serious issues. We used to call them jokes and people would laugh. He added ominously, the joke that ends my career is already out there. While Jimmy perceived himself as a brave and courageous comic fighting against cancel culture, my big fat gypsy wedding star Patty Doherty felt otherwise, branding him no better than Jimmy Savile. That wasn't a joke, he blasted, arguing that he should be investigated by the police. He's talking about mass murder being a positive, would he be allowed to say this about black people killed by the Ku Klux Klan? He also commented on a video published on Instagram, Travelers. We're the most hated people on the planet, honest to God it's true, and what have we ever done to anyone, I don't know. Our ancestors got killed in the Holocaust, and, hundreds of thousands, millions of people. I put him like Jimmy Savile. How he could even discuss about killing us, and thinking positive to kill us like war vermin. Jimmy remained defiant as the scandal threatened to sink his career, telling his audience last night, I am going to get cancelled, that's the bad news. The good news is I am going down swinging. The joke that ends my career it's already out there, it's on YouTube, Netflix, or whatever. And it's fine until one day it effing isn't.